Hi everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this pretty card. To make, to make this card I used a stamp set, Free as a Bird. It's a brand new stamp set. It came out of the new 2019-2020 catalogue. And we're going to use this image. And for the sentiment I've taken that out of another brand new set. Butterfly Wishes and we're going to be using that Birthday Wishes sentiment. I've also used the die from the Delicate Lace Edgelet dies and I have used this one here. I've already done that, I've already cut it out. Um, so the cardstock I've got it's a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored and folded in half, and it needs burnishing. Done. Two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, one for the inside and one for the front, which you can see I've already cut out that lacy pattern and a piece of coloured card in this case I'm using mint macaron to go underneath the lacy bottom there and that measures roughly an inch and a quarter by five and five eighths and that will go on like that just sit on there so to get started what we need to do is stamp our birds. So I'm taking the ink to the stamp because it's quite a big stamp, well, long stamp, and I'm going to stamp this up in this top left hand corner. just apply a little pressure and there we have it clean my stamp up that's quite lovely and clean Do the sentiment afterwards, right? Give this a little shape because we're going to do a little bit of sponging now. I'm going to use mint macaron. On this card, I used a new card colour. Um, soft sea spray I think it's called the blue one I think that's what it's called and it with the ink there but the ink looks completely different from the cardstock but this time I'm going to use mint macaron and all I'm going to do is just sponge where the birds are just round lightly to give a bit of colour I'm not worried about going over the birds because when we colour it in with the blender pens you won't see that So that will do nicely. That's all we need to there. And then get rid of that. Don't need that. We will bring in our blends and we will colour in the image like right? the leaves. I'm doing old olive.
I think this stamp set's really nice. I do like it. Right, one more leaf there. Missed a bit. Right, our flowers we're going to do in light real red, this should be, yep. And we're just going to colour in the flowers. With the birds, I forgot a colour. We're going to, we're on the chest, just do this in petal pink. I forgot what colour it was then. Just on the chest. Then around the edges is crumb cake. Taking it into the petal pink as well. Don't want to have straight lines because I'm sure their feathers aren't all uniformed and straight. And then with crumb cake dark, I just did a little bit of where the right the shading is on the stamp just go around where that is on the top of their heads Also with the darker crumb cake, I did where the lines are on the branches. Oh, he's got a feather sticking out there. Like that. And I think this is the bronze colour. It is. The bronze colour, I just did the branch. And there, colouring that in has actually faded down the um, mint macaron. With birthday wishes, we're going to stamp that and we're just going to stamp that under the leaves there, like that. There we 
have it. All we've got to do now is put this card together. Did I do anything inside? I did some little flowers. I'm not sure I'll do that in a minute. Right then, with the inside one, I lined up that and I placed some glue on the top of this. And I popped that in there and lined it up so I could get it exactly the same size as the other one. little tiny bit sticking out there. There you are. That's how I measured that so it still stayed three and seven eighths. And then we just pop that on there. So oh I need that moving it out of the way. Onto your card. Right, with the f inside, we did put some flowers, so I take it. Oh, it did. So let's some flowers on. I'll put a big one on and then a couple of small ones around the edge. With the red, I'm just going to do the middle of them. Held it then. Now we have some gems to put on. I put five gems on this so. I put two together here and I put three together there. Hope you like them. Can you see them? If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please press the bell icon. 
and subscribe and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.